hello. Betty and I had an idea to show you how to make some materials for your artworks. So we're not trying to make something finished here. What we're going to do is use this selection of things that we found in our to, house. In our house to, to print on some paper to make some textured paper that we're going to use in another video. We've got other ideas. We've got plenty of ideas. So I'm going to push this to one side. Here we go, Betty. Push all that over. And let's just put some white paper down. Right, I'll tell you what we've got. We've got paint. Primary colours. We thought we'd just use these three. And I'm going to put them just there out of the way. And we've got all of these different things. Duplo. Cookie cutter. Betty, what do you want to go for? You go no. first. I... I'm going to go for my personal favourite, which is the sheep's feet. Uh -huh. Obviously, it isn't a real sheep. It is a toy sheep. <laughs> don't use a real sheep. I don't use a real sheep. I would say don't use a real sheep. And I'm going to go for this. What is it? Du Duplo. 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 Okay. I'm using a brush and I'm just putting paint on the bits that I know will stick out. If you've got a big tray full of paint, you could just dunk this in and get it covered in paint. It's totally up to you. I'm doing it this way because I haven't got an awful lot of space. Betty, what are you doing? Dunking or? Put pink ah. feet on my sheep. I love it. Let's do it. Three, two, one. I'm going to press here. I'm hoping to go a few times. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. So, look, I've managed without putting more paint on to go three times with that block. Look at that. I might go again. Betty, you're going to choose something different. Or are you going to go for the same? I'm so what Betty's sorry, Betty, different. choose something different. What Betty's done is she's gone randomly over the paper, and I seem to have gone in quite a That's straight nice. way, which is kind of unlike me. Yeah. <laughs> but it shows that nothing's wrong. It's just totally up to you. However, do you want to do it? I'm going to use a potato masher. Oh, my goodness. Obviously, get permission from um, your parent if you're going to use stuff. Don't just, like, go and steal a potato masher if they're about to mash potatoes. Especially not if it's mashed for tea. I mean, that would be nice. Could we have mashed for tea? Oh, yeah, that'd be yum. I'm going to go for this one. This is, um like, a biscuit cutter, if Good I'm nice. honest. We use it for um use it for Play-Doh and plasticine. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go. I might use that red, because that's lovely. I'm using... Blue. Some paint Let's on see it. how many times. Oh well, actually, that's probably a good time to say, Betty. Maybe Where put an apron? apron on. I don't have an apron on. No, me either. But do you know what? Usually, I've always got an apron on. In fact, sometimes I've woken up and found that I've fallen asleep in my apron. Have yeah, you actually? Yeah. Okay, look. So here you go. This kind of flower shape. Mine's gone everywhere, which I'm really enjoying, but it's made me think I want to do more of this Duplo. So go on, here's Betty, and she's got a potato masher. Mash potato, mash oh, potato. Oh, look. Oh, look, keep going. See what happens. Now then, you might get some bits where the colours join. That is interesting. Yes. I'm going to pop some yellow. I've got three. Can I get four out of it? Ooh, the fourth one gets a little bit... Paler. Oh, sorry. So that's what happens is every time you push down, this is you're making a print. In fact, it's called a mono print. You're using one single thing to make the shape over and over again. Sorry. That was the table breaking. It wasn't me making that noise, I promise. It wasn't mine. Okay. You get the idea, definitely. What do you think? Ha that. Betty, how about using Beautiful. this? Can you get the cover the end, edge of that and just show us a rolling one? Sure. And then we'll stop. Uh, and it's time for you to go and find whatever you've got at home. As long as you use water-based paints, these are tempera paints. As long as you use things that will wash off, I reckon pretty much any of your toys you could use. But ask permission, it's always a good idea. Here we go. Just before we finish, Betty's got this one rolling one she's got with a block. Can you show us, Betty? Because we've seen a very empty screen. <laughs> Here we go. Now push it along and roll it and show us what's going to happen. You're doing you go diagonally. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, I love it. It's so exciting. Look at that. I mean, there's, there's always room for fingerprints. There's always 
who doesn't love a fingerprint? And the colours mix so well. So my suggestion would be just choose three colours so you don't get overwhelmed and choose a selection of rain different beautiful. Let's choose a selection of different things to use. Can I have that on my ring, please? And try. Uh, we're gonna cut it up, I'm afraid. <gasps> Maybe you can have it on the wall. Maybe we'll do a different one. Thank you so much, Betty. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay.